timers, we've got 70 Hot Wheels Lamborghinis here and we're going to do a big drag race elimination tournament to find out which Hot Wheels Lamborghini is the fastest. Alright guys, we got all the cars grouped in fives so that we can have the GoPro camera be on track at the same time and get some awesome close-up footage. We've got two slow-mo cameras mixed in as well, so this is going to be some awesome close-up action. Let's get our first race started. A good mixture of first Lamborghinis. They're all set and ready to start this tournament. Let's get to the starting line. Here we go, 70 Lamborghini tournament race number one. On your mark, get set.
our second V10 Lamborghini enters the next round. This time it's a standard road car Lamborghini Gallardo. Only four spots left to enter into the next round. Let's see which one of these Lamborghinis takes one of those spots. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go! And our first car to enter into the finals is a Lamborghini Veneno. Congratulations to be one of three cars in our finals. Our second set of finalists are at the starting grid, ready to go down the track. Let's see which one of these goes on to the finals to join the Veneno. On your mark, get set.
the Lamborghini Huracan Super Trofeo in this amazing looking green color takes the win and is our Grand Lamborghini 70 Car Tournament Champion. What's up, Peak Timers? Today we're having a close-up look at all the different variations of the Hot Wheels Lamborghini Huracan. Let's have a close-up look at them and then race them down the track. There are two different casting variations of the Huracan. There is the standard road car in several different color variations, as well as the Huracan LP620-2 Super Trofeo. Let's start with the standard road car variation. The first one we have for the road car variation is this nice looking yellow variation. And this one does have the chrome five star wheels on there. Beautiful looking casting. It looks really nice in yellow. Yellow being my favorite color. So this one is one of my favorite ones of this casting. Very, very nice. Good tempo work on the front. A Lamborghini logo all around black interior. Cool looking car. The next one we have is the green colored variation. Very similar to the yellow one, except it's a green with a metallic flake in the paint job. It's also got the chrome five star wheels on it. Looks very, very nice from the front. And you can see right there, you can see a little bit of the lines a little bit nicely in this green colored variation. Cool, cool casting. I really, really like this casting. Very, very nice, good detail to it. All right, our next color variation is a red one, and this one was featured in one of the multi-packs, and this one has some different wheels on there. These are a little bit newer wheels, and it's got the stripe down the center. You can see mine does have a slight error right there. You can see the paint that kind of goes over on the stripe, but that's okay, it still looks really good. I like the striping down it, although in real life, I think a solid color would probably suit it best. And these ones are very, very nice to uh, buy and modify in real life as well. A lot of guys modify their Huracans now. Great looking car though. All right, next up we have is this one right here. And this one is one of the ones featured in the Forza uh, set. And this one you can see it's got the Xbox logo right there. Then it says Forza right on the front. And this one is like a pearl white color. Very, very nice looking color to it. It's not your standard pure white. It's very pearlesque. Hopefully you can see it in my lighting here, but it's very, very cool looking color to it. And it's got these black wheels and it's got the gold lip on those black wheels. And of course got the black interior, just like all of them here. Very, very cool looking. You can see that Forza logo on the top as well. And it's got that stripe that goes right down the, the center in the middle of that logo. And I've got a little bit of Ted bit right there, but it's very nice. I like this one. This one is a cool looking casting too. A cool looking color and the last color we have for the road car is this orange one and this orange one I think this one might have been featured in one of the multi packs as well and it's got the big stripe down the center actually this one might be part of the uh, Lamborghini 8 car set yeah it could be part of the Lamborghini 8 car set blacked out wheels all on this one and you can see that stripe that goes down it kind of opens up a little bit on the front hood right there but very very nice tempo work you can see for those headlights very very cool looking I like the orange orange is very uh, fitting for the Huracan or even just Lamborghinis in general I think orange is one of the best looking colors for them all right let's move on to the Super Trofeos uh, for the first one we'll show you is this green one and the Super Trofeo is a very nice looking racing car so it is still a Huracan but it's all decked out in its racing spoiler and you can see the huge diffuser on the back of it as well that kind of goes right under a Lamborghini all on the side, number 33 on this one. And you can see the striping that goes down the center and look at the snorkel hood on there and check out from the front as well. Wow, it's so cool, I love the big wing on there. Looks awesome. All right, next up we have is this gray one and this one is kind of like a, a metallic flake gray and gray looks really, really good. It kind of matches these wheels, um, which uh, they all have these wheels on there except uh, the newest one. But you can see number 63 on this one and you can see very, very nice looking work all the way down the front and to that nice big diffuser and the tampa work still stays on these ones as well. Very good detail to it. Big ring, big rear wing and diffuser on there. Very awesome, love, love the gray. Looks good, shows the car very nicely. And our next one we have is the yellow variation. 
very similar to the green one, just in yellow. They just flip the colors. Um, so all the same tampa work on it as well. Number 33, got the same wheels on there. The big rear wing. And of course you can see those snorkels on the front very nicely of this one as well. Awesome, awesome. And last but not least, we have our newest color and that is this matte white finish to it. Uh, matte white and it's got the red bottom. So uh, that, I think it's a cool looking. It's very kind of hardcore looking. And you can see even on the front paintwork, they kind of extended uh, some tampa work out right here. So it makes it a little more aggressive looking. Very cool. Wow, 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 wow. Like this one. And this one also has different wheels, all blacked out wheels, but they're kind of like those mesh wheels on there. So different from the other ones, but still so cool looking. This one definitely has more detail to it. Although in the back, because it's all white, it kind of blends in. It's too bad they couldn't put a little bit more paintwork on there, but you can see on the side, this Lamborghini logo right there, none of the other ones have. So very unique, but very, very cool. All right guys, we're gonna head on over to the track and we're gonna race these all down the track and we're gonna find out which one of them is the fastest. All right guys, we're at the track and we've got three different groupings of the Huracans. There they are. We'll start it off with this grouping for race number one, and the winner of each grouping will go into the finals to face each other to find out which one's the fastest. And this is our official peak time racing track emergency crew. They will be standing at the finish line to make sure everything is okay. Race number one's all set. We've got the red Huracan here. We've got the green Super Trofeo in the middle and the yellow standard Huracan on the side in lane number one. Here we go. Race number one. On your mark, get set, go. And the green Huracan Super Trofeo takes the win for race number one, but we're set for race number two. We've got the white Huracan Super Trofeo, we've got the green Huracan, and we've got the gray Huracan Super Trofeo. There's our nice lineup of three cars. Here we go, race number two. On your mark, get set, go. And it's two wins for the Huracan Super Trofeos. The white one takes the win and moves on to the finals. And our last grouping, we've got two Huracans and one of the Huracan Super Trofeos. We'll put them all in the lanes with the white one, the yellow Huracan Super Trofeo, and the orange Huracan. Here we go. Race number three, who's gonna be the last car to go into our finals? On your mark, get set. Go! Well, so far we know the Huracan Super Trofeos are a faster casting, but let's see which one of them is the fastest. We've got yellow in lane six, white in lane four, and green in lane one. Here we go, the fastest Lamborghini Huracan. We'll find out right now. On your mark, get set, go. And it's the green Lamborghini Huracan Super Trofeo that takes the win and is the fastest of the Lamborghini Huracan. What's 
What's up, Peak Timers? Today we're getting a close-up look at all of the available color variations of the Hot Wheels Lamborghini Aventador, including the Super Treasure Hunt. Let's get a close-up look at them and then race them down the track. All right, guys, we will start it off with the original release of the Lamborghini Aventador, and it was this mainline one in an orange color with black wheels. And if you guys aren't familiar with the Aventador casting, it is one of the nicest looking castings from Hot Wheels. One of my favorites and this Aventador looks fantastic in the original orange color. I love the blacked out wheels on it. There they are very, very pretty. And this one was the original release and it's still fairly common to find online, obviously not available in stores anymore, but you can find this one online fairly easily. All right, we'll move on to the next one, and this is kind of a lighter orange one, and this one was featured in one of the multi-packs, one of the five packs that they had. So it's got this stripe down the center of it. It's got some nice silver outlining as well. And I love these blacked out wheels with the chrome lip. I think they look fantastic. They are staggered. And it's kind of like a, it's a lighter tangerine kind of orange color, but I think it does look cool. Very, very nice variation of it. And the next one was also another one featured in a multi-pack, and this is a green one. It's got the stripe down the center. It was in one of the five packs, and this one has kind of like gray wheels on it. And the wheels do look kind of cool, I do like them. And this green color, it's definitely a popular color in real life for Lamborghinis, the green variation, but a very, very nice one indeed. And we'll move on to the next one, and that next one was one of the ones featured in Forza, I think it's Forza, or no, or maybe Gran Turismo, Gran Turismo, I believe it is, that's what it is. So it's another one that's kind of a lighter orange color, um, very tangerine-ish, and it's got the lines on the side, it's got the number four right there, it's got blacked out wheels, staggered with the chrome lip on there. There. A nice looking, got the black interior, number four, as you can see. And this one, uh, I'm not a big fan of like these things on the side. I feel it kind of ruins the look of it. And even the hood, I'd rather it just be a full color, but that's okay. We got lots of different variations of it. And the next one is a black variation. And this one is a nice shiny metallic black one with the stripe down the middle. And this one is part of the Lamborghini uh, eight pack. So there's the Hot Wheels Lamborghini eight pack. So they had the eight car set. And this is one of the ones featured in there. Also has gray wheels on it and very, very metallic black. You can see the metallic flakes in it in my light right there. And I like this stripe. It's kind of like a two thin stripes that go down all the way to the back and it's got the Hot Wheels logo. So this one is really cool. I like this one quite a bit. It's very, very nice. All right. And the next one we have is a white one and this is a matte white one, a little bit harder one to find nowadays. Values going up a little bit on it, gray wheels, and it's all that matte finish white paint job on there. Nice tampo work and all. And you can see, yeah, it might be a little Probably because of me that it's got little scratches and stuff on there because I do race these cars and put them down the track and these is this all of my Lamborghinis have been featured in previous videos, so uh, they might have a few dings here and there, but the white one looks fantastic in the matte finish job. And then to top off the matte white, we've got a matte black variation. So you can see the matte finish paint job on there. Nice tampo and all that as well. Lamborghini logo on the front. And this one has the five star chrome wheels. So it's the first one we see uh, with the chrome variations of these wheels as most of them had uh, like the gray or black variations of those wheels, but very, very nice. The matte black one is also a harder one to find. Values going up a little bit, not too crazy. You can still get it for probably 10 to 15 bucks online, not too expensive at all, but uh, a nice variation. And next up we have is a silver variation. And I really like silver variations of cars because they show the lines very well. And this is a metallic silver variation and it's got the black wheels with the chrome lip on there. And as you can see, you can see all the lines of it very, very nicely. It shows the car very, very well. And this one also a little bit harder to find. Um, uh, you're probably looking around the maybe the $20 range or so online if you're gonna pick it up or so, but eh, maybe even cheaper. But silver one, a little bit harder to find. 
And next up, the hardest one to find, and this is a Kroger exclusive in a mystery pack. This is the yellow variation with the blocked out wheels. This is the, the newest one that I got um, besides the Super Dress Giant um, because this one I didn't even know existed and, and I thought I had all the colors and finally I found this one online. And uh, there's sellers selling these ones upwards of $60. Um, I was lucky enough to find one for about $25 online, but uh, it's definitely a lot harder to find and I found this one brand new. So looks to be pretty mint condition so far. I don't think I put this one down my track as of yet, but that will change today as we throw down our racetrack. There's that nice yellow one. All right, and next up we've got the newest variation, which is the Red Miria Homage. And this is the non-treasure hunt or super treasure hunt variation. And it's got the nice gold wheels and you can see that the gold down the side and it's got the Miria uh, right there, so it's to honor the old Lamborghini Mira. Uh, great looking variation, I really, really like this one. I look, think it looks fantastic with those gold wheels and the red, it looks great. Very, very, very cool. And this one is also coming out very soon in the blue variation. They made this one in real life in red, then blue, and I think there was a black one as well, but I think Hot Wheels is only making the blue one um, so far. So that one you can see, I'm putting it on the screen right now. Very very, very nice looking. I'm looking forward to receiving that one. And let's move on to the Super Treasure Hunt, the newest one, the Super Treasure Hunt variation. And this one, it's got the metallic Super Treasure Hunt paint job on there. And it's got the different Super Treasure Hunt wheels. We haven't seen these wheels before. Very, very nice looking wheels. And then obviously it's got the real rider tires on there. So this one, you can find it. And I think it was in the K case, if I'm not mistaken, the 2018 K case. And that one should be hitting your stores very soon, if not already. But this one is a great looking variation. I honestly, the wheels, not a huge fan of the wheels. I would have liked to see something different for the wheels, but the, the paint job, the metallic paint for a Super Treasure Hunt looks great. And actually I'll grab the, the non Super Treasure Hunt on the mainline one so you can see both of them. So you can see, I love the gold wheels on the mainline variation, but Super Treasure Hunt still looks really, really cool. All right guys, let's have a look at all of them together. Here they are, very, very nice. I am in love with this casting, but let's go ahead, head on over to the track. Let's race them and we'll find out which one's the fastest. All right guys, we're at the track and we've got the Aventadors all lined up and we've got four separate groupings of them. The Super Treasure Hunt will go last with the orange one and we will do these three first. Let's get race number one started. And this is our official peak time racing track. Emergency crew, they will be standing at the finish line to make sure everything is okay. Here we go, race number one. On your mark, get set, go. And the yellow Aventador takes the win in the first race to move on to the finals. Race number two is all set, the black matte Aventador. We've got the green one and the tangerine orange one. Here we go, race number two, on your mark, get set, go. Very close finish, but the matte black Aventador takes the win to move on to the finals. Race number three, cars are on the starting grid. We've got the matte white Aventador, we've got the Gran Turismo Aventador, and the metallic black Aventador. Let's see who's gonna take this one and move on to the finals. On your mark, get set, go. And the matte white Aventador takes the win to move on to the finals. And now we've got our final two cars. We've got the Super Treasure Hunt Aventador as well as the original orange Aventador. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. The 
wasn't a lot of hope for the Super Treasure Hunt version as it has real rider tires on it. So the Orange Aventador takes the win and moves on to the finals. We're all set for our final race. We've got the Yellow Aventador, the Matte White Aventador, the Matte Black Aventador, and the original Orange Aventador. Here they are. Let's find out which one is the fastest. On your mark, get set, go! A great finish to some great racing, but there can only be one winner, and that is the yellow Lamborghini Aventador, the Kroger edition. Thanks big timers for watching this video. Make sure you follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and don't forget to subscribe and throw this video a like. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye-bye. What's up Hot Wheelers? Welcome to the Hot Wheels Tournament. This is a Lamborghini single elimination tournament. We've got 16 fast Lamborghinis here and they're gonna race one by one, one after the other, single elimination against, and we're gonna find out who the fastest Lamborghini is of these 16. Great looking Lamborghinis, let's see who's racing. So first side, we've got the Lamborghini Countach versus the Lamborghini Murcielago LP670 SV, big one. Next up, we've got the Huracan versus the Lamborghini uh, Super Trofeo. This is, this is a long one. I'm actually going to look right on the back. So this is Lamborghini Huracan LP620-2 Super Trofeo. Um, and it looks like the Countach is trying to get ahead already. Uh, next up, we've got, oh, and that's racing against a Gallardo, in case I didn't mention it. Uh, next up, we've got the two SUV Lamborghini Urus against each other. Then we've got the Lamborghini LP4. LP570 Super Legera versus the Lamborghini Aventador J. Um, on this side, we've got the Lamborghini Diablo versus the Aventador. And then we've got two Lamborghini Venenos, one of them from the Gran Turismo set. So it's got different tires on it. So we don't know if that's gonna help it or if it's gonna make it slower. We will see. Uh, next bracket, we've got the Lamborghini Reventon Coupe versus the Reventon Roadster. And last but not least, we've got the Lamborghini Sesto Elemento versus the Lamborghini Etosque, the four-door sedan. All right, so we're gonna race. We'll start on this side and uh, we'll finish this bracket off and then we'll go on to this side and we'll finish this bracket off and we'll find out who moves on to the next bracket. All right, let's start at the top here with the SB versus the Countach. Countach is our Already wanting to get onto the next bracket, but not so fast. All right, I'm just gonna get the cars on the track. Cameras all set, we'll be ready to roll with race number one. All right, we're on the track. We've got the Countach and the SV all lined up and ready to go. And I'm gonna do a randomized lane order, so there's no advantage here. So every race will pick some different lanes for the cars to go down. All right, let's start up. Race number one, on your mark, get set, go. And it is the SV. It looked like the Countach was ahead, but it's the SV that is moving on to the next bracket. So let's add it up here. So Countach, unfortunately, you're too slow. SV moving on to the next bracket. All right, next bracket, we've got the Lamborghini Huracan Super Trofeo versus the Lamborghini Huracan, the standard one. So let's put these onto the track. And you know what, we'll do these ones on this side over here. All right, cars are all set, cameras all stage, let's go. On your mark, get set, go.
Lamborghini Huracan Super Trofeo destroys the regular Lamborghini Huracan. So the Super Trofeo is moving on. All right, we'll put the Super Trofeo up on, and that one's going to face the Lamborghini SV in the next round. All right, the two Lamborghini Urus cars, the SUVs. Let's see which ones of these ones is going to be the fastest down our track. Uh, let's put these ones. We'll randomize it, we'll put it right here. Why not? There we go. All right, here we go. On your mark, get set, go. And it is the orange Lamborghini Urus which will be moving on to the next round. All right, so orange one moving up and we'll put the white one back here. And sometimes it's hard for them to stay on my little tournament bracket here, but that's okay. We'll leave that one there. Uh, look, it's already trying to get up to the next round, but that's okay, we know where it is. Uh, next up, Lamborghini Gallardo Superleggera versus Aventador J. Um, I have to say the Aventador Js have been pretty fast in their time. Uh, so let's put them right here, I suppose. All right. Gallardo Aventador J. Uh, I'm rooting for the Gallardo here because I know how fast those, those Aventador Js are down our track. But let's see. On your mark, get set, go! Wasn't even close. The Aventador George J absolutely destroyed the Lamborghini Gallardo Superleggera. So let's bring these ones back. We'll go to the tournament board. Uh, so Aventador George J moving on up. Gallardo is back. And uh, I know this. We'll have to put the here sideways just so we know. All right, so that's that bracket there. We've got the four. Let's move on to the next bracket. Uh, we'll start at the bottom this time. So we'll do the Lamborghini Diablo versus the Lamborghini Aventador. All right, Diablo and Aventador on track, ready to roll. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Well, that was a close race. Photo finish for these cars, but it is the Lamborghini Aventador that moves on. Diablo, you're an old Hot Wheels car, but you gave that one a run for its money. So uh, we'll put the Lamborghini Aventador up and the Diablo back. Unfortunately, did not move on. All right, next up, we've got two Lamborghini Venenos. And uh, like I said, one of these are from the Hot Wheels Gran Turismo set. So let's move these ones onto the track. All right, both Venenos are on track, ready to roll. Here we go, on your mark, get set, go. So it looks like these rubber wheels on this Lamborghini Veneno is just not good enough for the track. So, but that's okay. We've still got one Veneno moving on. We've got the orange one moving on. So let's bring that back onto our bracket. So orange Veneno now will face the Aventador and this Veneno is not moving on. All right, next bracket. We've got the two Lamborghini Reventons. We've got the black coupe and we've got the orange roadster. So let's take these two, 
put him onto the track, and we'll see who is the fastest. All right, Revington's on track, ready to roll. Here we go, on your mark, get set, go. And it's the Reventon Roadster that is moving on to our next bracket. Bring those ones back. So black Lamborghini, Reventon, no go. Roadster, you are moving on. All right, the last race in the first bracket, we've got the Sesto Elemento and the Lamborghini Atosuke, the four-door Lamborghini. And this will be an interesting one. Can the hardcore extreme, uh, let's pick a lane here. Here, we'll put them right here. The, the extreme Sesto Elemento, can it beat the somewhat subtle Lamborghini Atosk, Atosuke? I'm not sure the exact saying, so you guys can correct me on that. I know you guys like to make fun of my pronunciations. All right, here we go. The final race in the first bracket. On your mark, get set, go. And the Lamborghini Atosuke absolutely destroys the Sesto Elemento. Wasn't even close. So we'll move these ones back and the Atosuke is moving on to the next bracket. So we'll put that one there and the Sesto Elemento will be staying. All right guys, those are our eight cars now that are moving on. So you can see. So we'll start on this side this time and we'll find out who the final two here is and the final two here is. All right guys, first race round two will be the Lamborghini Atosk and the Lamborghini Murcielago Roadster. So let's put them up on the starting grid. Uh, let's separate them just like that. Um, I think that should be good. All right, so tracks all ready, cars all stage. Here we go, race number one, round two. On your mark, get set, go. Lamborghini Atosuke wins it. The four-door sedan beats out the Roadster. So the Atosuke is moving on. And all right, so Roadster, you're staying there. Lamborghini Atosuke stays right there. Actually, sorry, this one was right there. There we go. All right, so next up we've got the Lamborghini Veneno versus the Aventador. Let's move those on onto the track and uh, let's, you know what, let's split them up here. There we go. So opposite ends of the track. Uh, who's, your, who's your pick for this? All right, let's do it. On your mark, get set, go. That was a super close one, but Lamborghini Veneno is your winner just by a hair. All right, sorry Aventador. Real close, almost had a chance, but unfortunately not. All right, so Aventador, you're staying, actually you're right there. And Veneno, you are moving on to the next round. All right, let's start over here. So let's start at the top. We've got the Lamborghini Murcielago SV Roads, or no, not Roadster, Lamborghini SV uh, LP670 versus the Lamborghini Huracan. And this is the super cool one, the Super Trofeo, just so you can see on the bottom the full name because I don't want to say it because it's so long. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll put these up and let's do, let's do this one right here. Do this one right there. They each got their own nicely separate lanes. All right, who is your winner on this one? Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Winner, lane five. 
Lamborghini Super Trofeo, the Huracan takes out the SV. That's unfortunate. I really like that SV. I was hoping it would get farther, but Huracan Super Trofeo moving on to the next round. All right, put this one back in its spot there. Huracan Super Trofeo moving on to the next round. And this SV doesn't like to stay still either. All right, next up we've got so the sideways Lamborghini Urus, just because it doesn't like to stay in this position, you can see it just takes off. So it's a beast, it's a fast one, but we've got it racing up against the Lamborghini Aventador Roadster J. Aventador J, I guess is what the official name they call it. They don't say Roadster. Uh, let's take these ones up and what should we do? Should we do right in the middle? Let's do right in the middle. It's always an interesting one. Uh, all right, here we go. Who's your winner on this one? All right, uh, I'm gonna pick the SUV, but you know me, I'm always wrong, so you never know. All right, here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Lamborghini Urus takes out the Aventador J. Aventador J, you are done. And I guess I'm finally right in a race. <laughs> uh, usually I pick the wrong winner, but there we go. So Urus, you are up there. Uh, Aventador J, you're back. You didn't move on. All right. There we go. So now we have the final four. The Lamborghini Huracan Super Trofeo, the Lamborghini Urus, the Lamborghini Veneno, and the Lamborghini Atosuke. One thing to note about this is of these, we've got two really hardcore Lambo Lambos, the Veneno and the Super Trofeo, and we've got two family Lamborghinis, the Urus SUV and the Lamborghini Atosuke. So interesting one. So who's going to get ahead in this round? All right, let's start with the Super Trofeo and the Urus for this round. And winner goes on to the final round. All right, let's take them up and we'll put them in the the very far lane here. There we go. So SUV versus the hardcore race car. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Another close one, but it is the Lamborghini Urus takes out the Super Trofeo. So Urus is moving on to the final. There we go. So we'll put the Super Trofeo there and moving on to the final in the final race. So who's gonna take it now? Is it gonna be the family sedan versus the family sedan in the end, or are we gonna have a hardcore racer versus the family sedan, the SUV? Here we go, last race, Gatoske, Veneno, last race for the regular rounds before we go to the final. And we'll put these ones over on this side this time, just to mix it up. Like I said, being fair on lane choice, mixing it up all the time. All right, here we go. Veneno versus Atosuke, here we go. On your mark, get set, go. And it is the Lamborghini Atosuke that takes out the Veneno. And it was, it looked like the Veneno had the lead about halfway through and the Atosuke's top speed just took over. So we've got two family cars, the family Lamborghinis in the finals. Atosuke and Orange Yaris. So we'll put this one back here. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be a fun, interesting final to see. So here, well, you know what? We'll back these ones up a little bit here so we don't have them in the way. So there we go. Our two finalists. 
So pick your winner, uh, pause the video, put in comments below who you think the winner of these two is going to be, and we'll see if you're right at the end. All right, let's head to the track and see who wins. We'll take these, and you know what? For the final, we will do a best of three. So first car to win two races takes the win, just so in case one of them gets a bad start. We wanna give a fair opportunity to both cars. Camera's all set, car's all ready to go. Here we go, race one for the final, best of three on the finals. On your mark, get set, go. And the first race win goes to the Atoske. Close one, but we'll take them back and we'll go and we'll restart them here. All right, uh, let's put them right here, side by side. So outside lane to the Atoske, inside lane to the Urus. Here we go, can the Atoske finish it off right now or will we have to go to a final, final race? Atoske, let's see if you can do it. Here we go, on your mark, get set, go. have it guys your grand champion your lamborghini champion is the four door sedan the lamborghini Tusque. you are a champion and thanks a lot for all the lamborghinis that came out to race you put on a good show but unfortunately that four door sedan lamborghini is your grand champion What's up, Peak Timers? Today we've got an awesome one for you. We've got the 2017 Lamborghini Hot Wheels 8 car set. And this is the specific to Lamborghinis. We're gonna open it up, we're gonna take a closer look at all the cars, and then we're gonna head on over to the track and find out which one's the fastest. Let's get started. All right, guys, so here is all eight cars from this set. One, two, three, four, and then five, six, seven, eight on the other side I've got. And these are, there's no new models in the set, but they're all recolors. So there are some awesome colors in this set, some pretty crazy ones. So let's get started with car number one, which is the Lamborghini Countach right up here. We'll put the rest of them aside and let's get a closer look. So Lamborghini Countach. And these ones are all awesome because they're all got these really nice specific packaging. So this one obviously has got that really nice artwork of the red Countach. Lamborghini, you can see right there, and then Hot Wheels up in the corner. And on the back, you can see it's got all eight cars. So I'll show you on this one so you guys can see what it looks like. I won't show in the other ones because it's all the same on the back. Let's go ahead, open it up though, this red one right here. So red Countach, car number one of eight, you can see. And it does have a little bit of a back protector piece you can see right here, which some, some of the cars from these sets I notice have them. Most of the main lines don't. Uh, so there it is. Wow, gorgeous. Look at that amazing Countach. You can see, we'll wait till it gets that focus. There we go. Oh yes, look at that. Beautiful looking car. And this one is red with the gold wheels on it. And it's got some really nice one. This one actually is a very old model which came out quite some time ago. Um, I've got like a white one that I had from back in like maybe the 90s, maybe mid 90s or something it was. I can't remember the exact date. But great looking car, great looking in this red color. All right, we'll put the red Lamborghini aside. And car number two, of the eight is the Lamborghini Sesto Elemento. You can see right down there, Sesto Elemento. And this one is in a gorgeous uh, new color. Like it's got like, it's like a yellow or a lime green interior and then some different outside. So there's that artwork. Let's open it up. Get that nice close look at it. 
And this one also does have the protector piece, so I wonder if all of them will have it. That would be interesting if they did. So we'll put that all aside right there, and then we'll get you to see that beautiful Sesto Elemento that you can see right there. Gorgeous color, look at that. Wow, this one is awesome. I love that look of that different colored interior, and you can even see it on the front as well. Get that light, nice focus area right there. Very, very cool. Awesome, awesome looking, love this car. So, what do you guys think? Which one's your favorite out of this set? We'll leave it uh, right there right now, and uh, let's uh, get on to the next one. We've got car number three. Car number three is the Lamborghini Estoque. Estoque, very, very nice. There it is. All right, let's open up the Estoque. And this one again has that uh, plastic. Very cool. And let's get right up here so we can see that Lamborghini Estoque. Very cool looking. Gorgeous in that white color. This one's got the red, or sorry, not the red, the gold wheels. So white with gold wheels. Gorgeous looking front end on it. And uh, one of the Lamborghini tournaments I had, the Lamborghini Estoque was uh, a, quite a fast car in that tournament. So we'll see if this one can prevail and be a fast car as well. Some of the other Lamborghinis were actually quite fast, so there's not really a, a real winner on this one. So I'm not, uh, not giving you guys away of who's gonna win. But uh, so far, okay, let's, let's do a small recap here. So we've got the, the Countach, We've got the Sesto Elemento, and we've got the Lamborghini Estoque. So which one do you guys think is gonna win so far? So next up, and we'll get that uh, right there. So we've got the Lamborghini Aventador in the black color. Lamborghini Aventador, you can see right there on the bottom it says. And this one is gorgeous black color, nice glossy black with the gray wheels on it. Let's not waste any time, let's open this one up. And there we go, there's the trend again. It's got that plastic piece protecting the back. And I noticed this one, it does have these, these cool stripes on it. Actually, the, the Estoque had that too, those cool stripes. But uh, the Aventador definitely looks really cool with those stripes. The black is just gorgeous for this car. And oh man, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, like kind of a almost uh, metallic. I guess it is a slightly sparkly black color. Beautiful car. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, I think that's my favorite so far. The black Aventador, I love that one. All right, let's move on. Next one, car number five of eight. And this one is the Lamborghini Murcielago. And this one is a gorgeous looking one. And it's got those cool little white things in the front, the gray wheels on it. All right, let's open up the Mercy Lago. Get that plastic piece out there. So I'm assuming all of them have it now, just based on the first five. And there is, oh, got some packaging there. All right, there it is, the Lamborghini. This one has those cool gray wheels on it as well. And uh, these weird like white sort of slashes on there, but the headlights look really cool for it. Gorgeous looking car. Nice color to it. I wish they uh, they actually made the Murcielago slightly more detailed. I think the the Murcielago SV that they came out with looked a little bit better, a little bit more detailed. But uh, this one's still pretty cool. I like it. Maybe needs to be lowered a bit in the front. <laughs> All right, we'll put that Murcielago up there and aside. And next up, we've got the Lamborghini Reventon Roadster. Gorgeous looking exotic car. I've seen one of these in real life. They are absolutely beautiful. A Lamborghini logo, look at that. Gorgeous Lamborghini logo on there. All of them do, I guess. But let's open up the Reventon. Get that plastic aside there. And this one, gorgeous color to this one. This is like a, um, like a, a very light gray or a silver color to it. But it looks beautiful. 
And I've said it before, silver colors really show the lines of cars very well. I love the silver color on cars. If you really want to see all the slats and crosses and, and all that, especially on a Reventon, silver is the perfect color. Wow, this one is beautiful. I'm changing my favorite. My favorite now is this one, the Reventon with that black stripe on there. Wow, this one is just beautiful, the Reventon Roadster. All right, we'll put that one aside and up there. Next up, we've got the Lamborghini Urus, the SUV that is coming out shortly here. There it is. And beautiful looking. Nice in that red color. That packaging looks really cool. All right, let's open this one up. And feel the plastic backing on there again. There it is. Put the package aside there, and there is the Urus. Beautiful red color on this one. This is like a darker red almost. And it looks pretty cool. I do like, I do like. This one with those black wheels on there. This will be really interesting to see in real life uh, when they release the actual uh, production version of it. I've actually seen the concept version of this when I was down in Pebble Beach in California and uh, it is nice but I'd love to see the actual production vehicle of it all ready to go. Lamborghini Urus could be a fast one. We've seen some fast Lamborghini Urus in uh, previous races so this one could be a winner. All right last but not least we've got the Lamborghini Reventon, and this is the non-Roadster version, and it's hard to see the writing, it's all in white there, but Lamborghini Reventon. So we had the Roadster, now we've got the regular car. This one is gorgeous as well. I think the Roadster looks a bit better though. I'm still gonna stick with a Roadster, I think. Unless I get a closer look and this changes my mind, let's see here. All right, we've got the white, it's like a pearl white color gray wheels on it and it's got like a is that a gold stripe it's hard to see with my lighting but i think it's a gold stripe on there the reventon beautiful car i do like it in this white but that silver from that roadster still i think is better there it is nice looking car nice looking car all right guys, uh, let's bring them all together here so we can see, bring them all kind of in order so you guys can see them. I don't think I can fit them all into my hand. I like to do that usually with the with, uh, set review cars, but there they all are. I'll put them kind of up like that. And uh, I want you guys to post in the comments down below here. We'll split them up in fours here so you guys can see all of them. Uh, which one do you think is going to be the fastest? Quick review, we got the Lamborghini Countach, the Sesto Elemento, uh, the Lamborghini Estoque, the Lamborghini Aventador, we've got the Murcielago, the Reventon Roadster, the Urus, and the Standard Reventon. Um, it's hard to say Standard Reventon as they are such an exotic car. Again, this is my favorite out of all of these. I love this silver Reventon. I think it looks beautiful. Great color for this one. All right, I'll put those down aside. I wanna read your guys' comments below, but we're gonna head on over to the track. We'll do uh, we'll do four versus four, and then the winner will face each other in the end. So maybe we'll do those cars number one through four, cars number uh, uh, five through eight, and then we'll take the winner, and we'll find out which one is the champion. I'll see you guys at the track. All right, guys, we're at the track. We've got the first four Lamborghinis all lined up and ready to go down the track to find out which one will go to the finals. We've got a best of three, so we've got four cars here, four cars behind which we'll go after. The winner of each race will face each other in the finals. Here we go, on your mark, get set, go.
Lamborghini Tosca takes the win in race number one, and it will move on to the finals to face one of these fantastic four cars. We've got them split up so they can get through that starting line. Let's find out who's going to take the win to face the Tosca. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. And our final is White Lamborghini versus White Lamborghini. It is the Lamborghini Atosuke versus the Reventon. Let's find out who's going to take the win for the Lamborghini 8 car set 2017. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. A fantastic eight car set by Hot Wheels of the Lamborghinis, but there can only be one winner for the fastest one, and that's the Lamborghini Atosuke, that four door white Lamborghini, beautiful looking car. And I want you guys to post in the comments down below, which one out of this set is your favorite? Um, if I have to pick one, I'm still gonna stick with that uh, Reventon Roadster. Love the look of that silver color Reventon Roadster. Just shows the line beautifully. What's up, Peak Timers? We've got eight different colored Lamborghini Aventadors here. We're doing a big tournament, and we're gonna find out which one of these Lamborghini Aventadors is the best. Let's get started. All right, Peak Timers, we've got three separate events. We've got the Top Speed Tester, we've got the Spinner Jump Track Tournament, and we've got the Criss Cross Crash Tournament. The first one's gonna be the Top Speed Tester. The top six Lamborghinis move on to the next round. First, let's find out who is competing. And our first Lamborghini competing is this awesome tangerine colored one, which is from the Gran Turismo set. It's got some cool markings on the front with that black painted front end and those cool looking sidings on it as well. This one is going to be a challenger. And the next event tour that we have is this gorgeous black one with some cool, really thin pinstriping on it. This is from the brand new 2017 Hot Wheels eight car set and it's got some cool looking wheels and it's all ready to contend in the event tour tournaments. And the next Aventador we have is this gorgeous silver colored one with black wheels and the chrome lip on those wheels. This one came in one of the mainline sets, but it is one of the best looking colors for the Lamborghini Aventador. And the next Aventador we have is the proper orange color with the blacked out wheels. This is just a classic color for Lamborghinis and I've owned this Lamborghini Aventador the longest out of all the ones that are in this tournament today. And next up, we have this matte white Lamborghini Aventador. I love the color and look on this, especially with those cool looking gray wheels on this nice white Lamborghini Aventador. This one I think is gonna be one of the top ones. And to try and top that matte white Aventador, we've got a matte black Aventador with some nice chromed wheels on it. This one's gonna try and take the cake and beat them all. And our next Aventador is this gorgeous green one with gray wheels and a cool stripe on it. This one came out of one of the Hot Wheels Exotics 5 pack and this color is very fitting for the Lamborghini Aventador. And last but not least, we've got another orange Aventador with a black stripe on it and black wheels. This one came out of the Exotics 5-pack. 
a similar one to the one that competed in the pool jump race video. Let's see if this one can take a win against these other Aventadors. Continue the trend of going up in speed. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. We take a closer look at the destruction. It looks like the matte black Aventador and this orange Aventador with the stripe on it are the ones moving on. And unfortunately, the lime green Aventador is officially eliminated from the competition. All right, guys, our next three Aventadors are on the starting grid, all set, ready to destroy those spinners. Let's find out which two are moving on. On your mark, get set, go. <laughs>
winner of the big Lamborghini Aventador tournament. You are the best of all eight Aventadors. What's up, Hot Wheelers? Welcome to our Super Crash Elimination Tournament with Lamborghinis. This is our crash track right here, and we've got eight awesome Lamborghinis, which are going to go head to head, one after the other, tournament style, and we're gonna find out who the crash champion is. First of all, let's see who our contenders are and who is racing against each other. First off, we have the Lamborghini Huracan Super Trofeo versus the Lamborghini Bonanno. Those two look amazing and they're gonna be fun seeing in the crash style tournament. Next up, we got going against each other, the Lamborghini Murcielago LP670 SV versus the Lamborghini Huracan. Great looking colors on those cars. It's gonna be fun. And next up, we've got the Lamborghini Reventon Roadster versus the Lamborghini Aventador. Those ones look awesome. That Reventon Roadster is exotic looking. Last but not least, we've got the Lamborghini Countach, the classic 25th anniversary edition versus the Lamborghini Gallardo 570 and the Superleggera, of course, we should say. So those are the ones going up against each other. So how this is gonna work, we're gonna put two cars into our crash thing, one after the other, and essentially it's the first car that is standing. So the first one that crash, that doesn't crash, the first one that crashes is out, and if they both crash, the one that's standing more on its regular side without being on its roof is the one that moves on. So we're gonna go, some, some of the cars might go for a while, some of the cars might crash right away, but this is gonna be fun because I have five different camera angles to film all of this, so you guys are gonna be able to see all the action up front and close. All right, let's go on to our first race. It's gonna be the Lamborghini Huracan Super Trofeo versus the Lamborghini Veneno. All right, I'm gonna get them all ready. We're gonna get the cameras all set, cars all ready to roll, and we'll be ready for race number Number one for the Crash Series. All right, Crash Race, ready to go. Here we go, race one, one after the other. On your mark, get set, go. Oh. Crash race number one, it's the Lamborghini Veneno that takes out the Lamborghini Huracan Super Trofeo. All right, here we go, race number two. We've got the Huracan and the Lamborghini SV, the Murcielago SV. Here we go. Crash race number two, here we go. Mark, get set, go. Wow, what a crash series, guys. But it is the Lamborghini Huracan that comes out ahead, beating out the Lamborghini SV. All right, we're going on to the next race. We're going to our Lamborghini Aventador versus the Lamborghini Reventon Roadster. Here we go. Let's go on to crash series race three. All right, crash race number three. On your mark, get set, go.
Wow, what a crash race. The Lamborghini Aventador absolutely destroyed the Reventon. The Reventon got caught at the starting line. Soon as the Aventador came around, it just demolished it. But it is the winner is the Lamborghini Aventador and is moving on to the next race to face the winner of this one right here. Here we go, the Countach versus the Gallardo Superleggera. Let's head to the track and start for race. All right, here we go, Gallardo versus Countach. On your mark, get set, go. And Lamborghini Gallardo is moving on. So those are our four finalists. So we're gonna do Huracan versus Veneno, Gallardo versus Aventador. So here we go. Let's start with these two right here. All right, guys, let's get ready to race. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. And it's Lamborghini Veneno, which is moving on to the finals to face the winner of one of these two. So let's take the Aventador and the, or Gallardo and then the Aventador, and we'll put them into our semi final race. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. And it's Lamborghini Gallardo, which is moving on to face Veneno in the finals. Here we go, the final crash race. Who is our crash Lamborghini champion? Let's head to the track. Final race, here you go, on your mark, get set, go. Great final race, a long, hard fighting battle right at the bitter end. But our winner is the Lamborghini Gallardo Superleggera that comes out is our crash champion, our first crash series champion, Lamborghini Gallardo. Great crash race. Hot Wheels has released another color variation of the ever so popular Lamborghini Veneno. Let's get a closer look at it and all the other color variations and then do a big race to find out which one is the fastest. All right guys, we get now our seventh color variation of the Lamborghini Veneno in this cool looking blue color. Check it out. I am in love with this one. I love this blue. I love like the actual brightness of it. It's not too dark. It's not too light. It's a great looking blue that shows the lines of this Lamborghini. And check out those wheels as well. The colored variated wheels on there. A nice little lime or yellow kind of color on there. Black on the inside and check out the back of it as well. The big diffuser black bottom on there. 
great looking color variation. And if you are looking for this color variation, it is being included in a lot of the multi packs, including like a 20 pack and 10 packs from Hot Wheels. So check out your local stores and don't miss this one in one of those multi packs. We haven't seen it as a single yet, but it might be released as a single in the future. So great looking, love the new blue color variation of the Lamborghini Veneno. We'll take a little bit of a look at all the other ones as well. We'll put the blue one right there. So we've got the green one, great looking green with the black wheels and the white lip on it. That one's been around for a while, been very popular. And then we've got this silver color variation, which is almost like a Zamac finish to it. It's that silver with the colored striping on it. You can see right there, it almost looks like an unfinished paintwork on it, but it is a silver variation. That one does look very, very nice. And then we've got the orange one, which has been around for quite some time now. We've seen this one for a while, but this one looks really cool. I love the orange look to it. There we are. And then we've got the Real Riders version. And this one I believe came in the Gran Turismo set and it's yellow and it's got the Real Rider tires on there as you can see. So not so fast down the track, but it's got a little bit more weight to it. It's got the metal bottom as well, which is different from the other ones with the plastic bottom, but a nice looking color variation. Then we've got the white one, which I really, really like. I like the white one. It looks really good. I like the white with the black contrasting stripe on there. It's got the black wheels with the white striping on it. And the last but not least, we've got the kind of maroon red colored variation. And this one I got almost kind of recently as well. And it's nice looking with the black wheels on there. And the Veneno, one of the most exotic looking hypercars ever made. All right guys, there they are. Let's head on over to the six lane raceway. We'll do two separate races and each of those winners will face off against the two fastest cars in the finals. All right guys, we're on the track. We've got three Venenos first we've got the orange one the red one and the real riders yellow one the other four will remain on the top there and they'll race in the second race so winner of this race will face the winner of the other race here we go on your mark get set The red Lamborghini Veneno is the fastest of all of the Venenos. A great lineup of colors. We're so happy that we have all these different color variations of the Veneno. What's up, P-Timers? It's time to settle something. Let's find out which is faster. Is it the Hot Wheels Lamborghinis or is it the Hot Wheels character cars? Alright guys, how this is gonna work is we're gonna do a drag race style one car versus one car. To find out what the matches are, 
car. We're gonna put all the Lamborghinis in one box, all the character cars in one box, and for each race, we're gonna randomly pick out two cars, which will go up against each other. All right, let's find out what our first matchup is. And our first matchup is the Lamborghini Huracan versus Creeper from Minecraft. All right, guys, we're on the track. Let's see which car takes the first win in our Lamborghini versus character car series. On your mark, get set, go.
Matchup is the Lamborghini Huracan Super Trofeo versus Roadrunner, the Looney Tunes character car. It's just pride on the line right now. It's the Roadrunner versus the Lamborghini Huracan Super Trofeo. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Official, it's all over. Team Lamborghini takes the win 7 to 3 over the character cars. The seven Lamborghinis are on the front row, and the three winning character cars are on the front row on the character team side. What's up, Peak Timers? It's race day, and we've got the Lamborghini Aventador Mira going up against a bunch of other really fast Hot Wheels cars. And here it is the Lamborghini Aventador Mira, the brand new Lamborghini Aventador edition that was just released in the most recent case. This one has the next Nice gold trim on the bottom, the gold wheels, the red on top. It is the Miria Homage Edition, a fantastic looking model. Let's see who it's racing up against. First, we've got the Porsche 917, the Golf One brand new car from the 2018 set. Gorgeous looking car. Next up, it's got the Mercedes AMG GT3, another new car for 2018. This is the Hot Wheels race team variation in blue. After that, we've got one of the last Hot Wheels Ferraris ever made, the Ferrari La Ferrari. Look at that in its gorgeous red colored variation of it with the silver wheels. After that, we've got the Big King, the Bugatti Veyron, the black colored variation with the red siding on it, a classic color for the Big Bugatti, one of the favorites of you guys. Then we've got one of the coolest looking Hot Wheels Lamborghinis ever made. It is the Lamborghini Murcielago SV, the LP670. Very, very cool looking Hot Wheels car. Love this color, the SV logo on the side of it. Great looking casting. And last but not least, we've got the brand new colored variation of the McLaren F1 GTR. As you guys know, my favorite car of all time, and that will be the last one to get an opportunity to race that sweet looking Lamborghini. Lamborghini. Let's get the race started. For race number one, we've got the Porsche in lane one, the Lambo in lane two. Here we go. On your mark.
Dimension Door Muria Homage Edition goes six for six, beating out all of those other Hot Wheels cars. But there's still one question I think that you guys have. Is the Lamborghini Aventador faster than Cadillac the Champ? Here is Cadillac the Champ. Let's put them on track. Let's race them down the track. Cadillac the Champ takes lane number two. Lamborghini Aventador takes lane number one. Here we go. On your mark, get set. What's up, Pete Timer? We've got a big race for you today. We've got the Lamborghini Aventador going up against six supercars exotics. And we've got the GoPro camera car to follow for some cool slow mo point of view action. Let's get started. Great lineup of cars that we have for you today. First of all, let's get a look at the Lamborghini Aventador that is going up against all of these cars today. This is the orange Lamborghini Aventador with the black wheels on it. This one won our fastest of the Lamborghini Aventadors, so it is the fastest Hot Wheels Lamborghini Aventador that I have. So nothing to worry about there. We have the best of the best, and they are racing up against this cool lineup right here. We'll start on this side just to show you which is which. We've got the Pagani Waira. This is the blue Pagani Waira. Awesome looking car. Then we've got the silver Ford GT with a black stripe on it. Great looking car. Then we've got the Ferrari F12 Brillinetta in the red color. Gorgeous looking car. And next to that, we've got the Porsche 911 GT3 RS in the lime green color. And then we've got the yellow McLaren P1. Gorgeous, love the P1. And then we've got the blacked out Audi R8. Great looking in that black color. And then below it on this level, we've got the GoPro Hero 5 Session camera car, and it's beeping away. It wants to get going here, and that's gonna be following all the races for some cool video. And it's gonna be going down to our electronic finish line, which you guys will see on the slow-mo ending. If you guys wanna get that same finish line, check out the link down below, and you guys can get your own one of those. All right, guys, let's get the Audi R8 on track, and we'll get started. Camera's all set, car's all ready to go. Here we go, race number one. On your mark, get set. Go! R8 loses race one, so it is facing the wall. Doesn't get to watch the rest of these races, but we're all set for race number two. We've got the Aventador and we've got the McLaren P1 on track with the GoPro all ready to go. Here we go, race number two. On your mark, get set, go. And the McLaren P1 
faces the wall as it loses out to the Lamborghini Aventador, giving the Aventador a two to nothing lead on the supercars. But now we've got the Porsche 911 GT3 RS all lined up, ready to face the Aventador. Let's find out what these cars can do. Here we go, race number three. On your mark, get set, go. Another race and another win for the Aventador. Beating out the Porsche 911 GT3 RS. It is now three to nothing for the Aventador. And we've got the big Ferrari F12 Berlinetta on the track, all lined up and ready to race. Let's find out what happens. Here we go, race number four. On your mark, get set, go. and four wins by the Lamborghini Aventador. What a showing that it's doing. I'm sure a lot of you guys are thinking sweep now, but we have the big four GT all lined up and ready to face the Aventador. Here we go, race number five. Honey Mark, get set, go. races and five wins for the Aventador. I'm sure a lot of you guys are thinking sweep now. We've got the Pagani on track, ready to race the Aventador. Can the Aventador go a six and oh, or can the Pagani get one win at least for the supercars? Let's find out. GoPro on, let's get going. Final race, here we go. On your mark, get set, go. race but there can only be one winner and that winner is the Lamborghini Aventador going 6 and 0 oh, beating out all of those supercars right there crazy racing i can't believe the Lambo did it and beat all of them without losing a single race congratulations what's up hot wheelers welcome to race day and today we've got some really cool cars for you we've got Lamborghini Gallardos or Gallardos, however you want to say it, versus Lamborghini Huracans. So we've got six cars here. We're going to do a six car shootout. We're going to find out which one is the fastest and we're going to do best of three. So the first car to win two races is our winner. Let's take a closer look and see the cars that are racing. First one up, we've got a yellow Lamborghini Huracan with those awesome chromed out spoked wheels. 
Next up, we've got a green, lime green Huracan with those awesome same wheels. Great looking, love the green. And oh, next up, we've got another green. This is more of like a limeish green one with those same spoked wheels. So awesome looking Huracans. And you know, you guys are probably like, well, why would I have this three same? But you guys know by watching my previous videos that you just never know. Color, uh, all different types of things do make a difference. So there could be some speedy ones in there. There could be some slow ones out of those three. And same goes with these ones. So we've got the Lamborghini Gallardo LP570 Super Legeras. There is our first one, it's a white one with the like titanium-ish type wheels on it. Love the white, it's like a matte white finish. Looks fantastic. And then we've got a lime green one with those same type of wheels on there, those titanium wheels. Man, looks awesome, love it. And I love this blue one. It just looks so nice. And it's got kind of like dark wheels with chrome painted outside lip. Oh man, love that. All right, so those are our six cars that are racing. They're gonna go down our track, and this is our new raised up track that we have here. So this is our first race to go down this track. All right, I'm just gonna cameras all set, cars all ready to roll. Be right back with race number one. All right guys, cameras all set, cars all ready to roll. Here we go, race number one. Gallardo's versus Huracans from Lamborghini. On your mark, get set, go! Wow, that was a close one, but there can only be one winner, and that winner is going to be the Gallardo, the blue Gallardo. Very, very nice. All right, we're all set for race number two. Here we go. Can the blue Gallardos finish it off, or are we gonna get a different winner in this race? Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. And there you have it guys, it is the Blue Gallardo that beats out the rest of them. Blue Gallardo, you are the Huracan Lamborghini and the Gallardo Super Legera Shootout Champion. What's up, Peak Timers? We've got the Lamborghini Huracan LP620-2 Super Trofeo. A handful to say, but it is racing up against six super hypercars. Let's get started and find out who's going to win. All right, guys, here is the Lamborghini Huracan LP620-2 Super Trofeo. We've got two of them. We've got the yellow one and we've got the gray one. Let's get a closer look at them. There they are. So we've got the yellow and that fantastic gray one. Oh, sorry, I'll hold them with both hands so you guys can see these gorgeous cars right there. And those are the two colors for them. So we're gonna race them down the track. We're gonna find out which one's the fastest and then we're gonna race them up against six of those hyper supercars that you see behind there. So we'll put these back right in there. And I think we're missing something actually. We are missing something. Bam, we've got the brand new lime green one, which was just included in the Hot Wheels P case. So let's go ahead, let's just open this one up and we'll throw that one into the mix. So there'll be three racing off in the first race to find out which one's the fastest and that one car will go one-on-one -on -one against those six hypercars that you see behind there. So let's get this one opened up. Throw the packaging aside, and let's get that closer look at that gorgeous, nice lime green one. Look at that. P 
Beautiful. I know I apologize. I mistake this one as another yellow one just because my lighting was so bright the day that I was unboxing the P case, but we definitely know this is lime green now that it's all opened up here. All right, so we'll throw that one down and I'm just gonna get the GoPro set and we'll get ready for the race. Camera's all set, car's all ready to go. Let's see which Huracan Super Trofeo is going to be the one racing. Here we go, on your mark, get set, go. And just like that, right out of the gates, the green Lamborghini Huracan Super Trofeo that we just opened up takes the win first time on the track. So congratulations to the green one. And its first challenger is the Porsche 934.5. Brand new, nice, white looking Porsche will race in the first race against the Super Trofeo. Let's see if it can win. Here we go. Race number one. On your mark, get set. Go! Wow, what a race. The Lamborghini on its second race absolutely destroys that Porsche. This thing is fast. It's going to be interesting to see if another car can keep up with it. Next car we've got, whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on, guys. No starting yet. There's no cars yet. This Huracan really wants to get going. Next car we've got, we've got the Lamborghini Murcielago SV, a gorgeous Hot Wheels car. And that one's going up against the Super Trofeo in race number two. Here we go. Race number two. On your mark, get set, go. Another race and another easy win by the Huracan Super Trofeo. And it's now time for the 2016 Ford GT race, the blue one. Nice, nice looking car. One of my favorite new Hot Wheel models. All right, we'll put that one in that lane right there. The Huracan all nicely centered there. And we are set for race number three. Can the Huracan go three and oh, or will the Ford GT finally get a win and beat that Huracan? Here we go, on your mark, get set, go. A slow start by the Huracan, but it still manages to accelerate and speed ahead of that Ford GT race. So the Huracan now has three wins and no losses. And it's now time for the Ferrari. The big guns are coming out now. We've got the Ferrari FXX versus the Huracan Super Trofeo. Let's see if the Ferrari can finally take a win. Here we go, race number four. Animar, get set, go. For 
Ferrari FXX, no problem for the Lamborghini Huracan. Four wins, zero losses. It's now time for one of its own. We've got the orange Lamborghini Veneno, a very exotic, nice looking car. Oh, I love this one. These are two super exotics. Let's move the Huracan over there. We'll put the Huric uh, the Veneno in that lane right there. Here we go. Race number five. Can the Huracan take five down in its five races? Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Races and zero losses, the Huracan Super Trofeo takes out one of its own, beating the Lamborghini Huracan. But now we have a car that has never been on the track for a race. It's the brand new 2017 McLaren F1 GTR, my favorite car of all time and my favorite Hot Wheels of all time. Let's see if it's any fast. I honestly don't have a lot of hope for it because this Huracan Super Trofeo is surprising surprisingly very fast but let's see if that mclaren f1 can take a win and get one for those hyper exotic supercars here we go final race on your mark get set go races six wins for the lime green lamborghini huracan super trofeo i am so amazed how fast this car is brand new out of the box never been down the track has not lost a single race wow amazing racing by this car if you guys want to see this car race up against anything else post in the comments down below we're gonna to have to put this up against some other supercars and hypercars and maybe even the champion the cadillac v16 we'll find out let me know in the comments down below thanks a lot for watching this one guys if you like this video throw this video a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed subscribe to my videos already and i'll catch you guys on the next one bye bye what's up peak timers welcome to race day today we've got the lamborghini huracan this is from the brand new 2017 hot wheels exotic set i've just got it and it is time to race it down the track it's going to face off against these six other awesome supercars Let's take a closer look at each car that's racing. First one we've got is the Nissan GTR, the brand new gray Nissan GTR from the Hot Wheels Q case. We just opened it up and it is the first car facing off against the Huracan. Next car we've got the Porsche 911 GT3 RS and it is in that nice looking green color. The next car we've got is the brand new C7 Z06 or Z06. It is in the red color with those blacked out wheels. It looks fantastic. Fantastic. Next car, we've got the Aston Martin DB10. James Bond himself is racing. Let's see if he can beat that Lamborghini Huracan. Up after that one, we've got the Mercedes SLS AMG with those sweet looking gray wheels in that solar yellow color. Last but not least, we've got the Ferrari 458 Italia in that nice sparkly blue color with those gold wheels. All right, let's get the GTR set up on the starting ground with the Huracan for race number one. We've got both center lanes covered and we've got the cars lined up, ready to go, GoPro and slow-mo cameras all set, ready to go as well. Here we go, race number one. On your mark, get set, go!
Bond takes the win, maybe pulling out some rockets to boost ahead of the Lamborghini Huracan, but now we've got the Mercedes AMG GT on track lined up to try and take another win from that Huracan. Let's find out. Here we go. Race number five. On your mark, get set, go. that's in gray fresh off the q case unbox takes the win against all these other supercars what's up hot wheelers welcome to race day today we've got two insane lamborghinis for you which we're gonna put up against each other we've got the speed machines lamborghini murcielago lp 670 sv versus the cars of the decades Lamborghini Murcielago LP670 SV and you guys wanted to see these ones race now that there's two SVs together so we're going to put them down the track we're going to find out which one's faster and then we're going to race the Cars of the Decades version up against six other insane cars we've got a beauty lineup tonight so let's see the cars that are racing the first other car it's going to be racing is the white Tesla Model X Beautiful, gorgeous machine, and it has beat out a lot of other nice cars, so we're going to see that one race the SV. The next one we have is the Acura NSX in yellow, the brand new one that I just unboxed last week. Great looking car, gorgeous. And next up, it's another Speed Machines car, the McLaren F1 GTR. Absolutely gorgeous with the silver and orange and the GTR on the side. Speed Machines cars also have unique wheels and this one is a great looking car. The next car it's racing is another McLaren but this time it's a P1 in the gorgeous blue color with the chrome wheels. Just an absolute beauty. And next up racing, we have the big bad Bugatti, the satin red Bugatti that you guys have been wanting to see more races of, so I decided to bring it back out. Gorgeous looking matte red color on it. And the last but not least, we've got the Lamborghini Huracan, the Super Trofeo version. This is the yellow one that just came out, and I just did an unboxing of it. Gorgeous looking car. 
All right, guys, first things first, let's see both SVs go head to head and let's find out which one's the fastest. Here we go, car's all ready, camera's all set. On your mark, get set, go! And the Cars of the Decades LP670 SV beats out the Speed Machines, which is now facing the wall. Sorry, Speed Machines SV, we have a new champion. There it is. All right, guys, let's see the Tesla Model X race up against the SV. Here we go. Let's, let's change the lanes up here. We'll put them on the outside lanes. There we go. All right, cars all ready, cameras all set. On your mark, get set, go. The Lamborghini SV is no match for the Tesla Model X. The Model X is just beating out a lot of supercars and different types of cars. It's a fast one. All right, guys, let's see the yellow NSX. Let's take that, put it into the lanes. There we go. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. And the NSX also beats out the SV. So SV has only beat its own rival sister car. Let's see if it can beat the Speed Machines McLaren F1. Here we go, on your mark, get set, go. McLaren F1 also beats out the Lamborghini Murcielago SV. Let's see what the blue P1 can do. Can the Murcielago get another win against a different car besides its own SV? Here we go. On your mark, get set, go! Wow, Blue P1 couldn't even get across the finish line. Blue P1, absolutely no match for the SV, but now we've got the satin red Bugatti on the track ready to race the SV. Here we go, on your mark, get set. Go! And the Bugatti takes a win as well. We are on to the final race, Lamborghini versus Lamborghini, SV versus Super Trofeo. Here we go, on your mark, get set, go! Wow, that Lamborghini Super Trofeo was fast, but now that we have all the winners that beat out the SV, let's do a one race winner takes all to find out which the fastest car is. So all the winning cars get to enter. So we've got the Tesla, the NSX, we've got the McLaren F1, 
Find the mop ball, nice. Uh, sorry, P1, not even close. We've got the Bugatti and the Super Trofeo. All right, those six, let's do this. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. And there you have it guys, it's the Tesla Model X that ends up beating out all the fast supercars. What's up Hot Wheelers, welcome to race day. Today we've got the Lamborghini Murcielago LP670SV. It's a mouthful of a long one, but this car is just an absolute beauty. Look at the SV on the side. And this is from the Speed Machine series, Hot Wheels series. So it's a rare one to get. And I picked this one up online. I paid a lot for it, but you know what? It's an awesome car and I want to see it in some races. And we're going to pair that all up against these six beautiful cars right here. Six amazing supercars. We're pairing them up against the SV. So let's take a close look at these cars here. And then we'll go to a race and we'll see how many cars the SV can beat. So first one it's going to be racing is the Pagani Ware. And this one is a green colored Pagani Ware. It is amazing looking. Beautiful thing. Next up beside it we've got the Ferrari, the Ferrari, La Ferrari of course. But it is a great looking one. Look at that beauty in its red glory. Awesome. Next up beside it, we've got the McLaren F1 GTR, my favorite all-time Hot Wheels car. I absolutely love this one. And next up, we've got the Mercedes CLKL, <laughs> CLKLM. Uh, I'll go and look on the back. There it is. So it is Mercedes CLKLM. Yep, I'm right. Um, and this one hasn't been down our track, so uh, it's actually an old Hot Wheels I've had for a while, but it's the first time that it's going down the track, so... Stay tuned, that one's going to be pretty cool to see go down our track. Next up, we've got the chromed silver Lamborghini Veneno. Great looking car. And beside it, we've got the Speed Machines Bugatti Veyron. Wow, that's going to be crazy to see versus the SV. Alright guys, that's our six cars that we're racing up against the SV. There's the SV right there. So we'll take the Pagani Ware as our first one. And I'm just gonna get the cameras all set. Cars all ready, we'll be right back with race number one. All right guys, race number one. Lamborghini SV versus the Pagani Ware. Here we go, on your mark, get set, go! And the Lamborghini SV is your winner against the Pagani Ware. Ware is now facing backwards. You are a loser. Sorry, buddy. But now we are moving on. And it is the Ferrari La Ferrari versus the Lamborghini Murcielago SV. Here we go. Race number two. Can the La Ferrari beat the SV? Let's see. On your mark. Get set. Go. And this time the La Ferrari takes the win against the SV. Sorry, SV, you lost that one, but that's okay. We've got it up now against the mighty McLaren F1 GTR. Let's see if the SV can pull out a win against that one, or is it going to be another win for the supercars? Here we go. On your mark, get set, go.
And it's another win for the Supercars McLaren F1 GTR. You are the winner. And you were beaten or you beat out the SV. Sorry, SV. But SUV's got another contender. We've got the mighty Mercedes CLKLM. This is going to be a beauty to see the CLKLM first time down the track. Here we go. On your mark. Get set. Go. And it's another win for the supercars. The CLKLM on its first race beats out the SV. Sorry, SV. You didn't stand a chance there. It was close, though. It was. It was. All right. We've got the Lamborghini Veneno now up as the next contender here. I'm so excited to see these two. The two nice Lamborghini cars going down the track. All right. Here we go. On your mark. Get set. Go. And the SV loses again, lost to the Lamborghini Veneno. So look at all the supercar wins in a row. Four wins in a row by the supercars now. Let's see if the big, mighty Veyron can keep that streak going. Or can the Lamborghini SV beat it out and finally take a win to finish it off with the win at the beginning and a win at the end? I don't know. This is going to be exciting, guys. Here we go. Race number six. On your mark. Get set, go! Winner! And it's another win for the supercars, the Bugatti Veyron, Beats out the Murcielago SV. Sorry, SV, you lost. And those are two losing cars right there. So you losers are going to stay there and you're not going to get to race. We're going to do a final race. We're going to find out which one of these is the fastest. Because you know what? If all these cars beat the SV, which one's the fastest between all those five cars? Here we go. Let's race them down the track. On your mark. Get set. Go. Go. Wow, guys, great race by these awesome cars, but there can only be one winner out of all of them. SV, it's not you, sorry, you just didn't even make it to the final race. It is the McLaren F1 GTR that beats them all out. What's up, P-Timers? Today we've got 12 of the best 1 in 64 skill Lamborghinis ever made. Let's do a race tournament to find out which one's the fastest. All right, guys, we've got these 12 amazing Lamborghinis. We are going to do three races of four cars. The winner of each race will face off against each other in the final. And on the starting grid, we've got our first four Lamborghinis. So let's have a closer look at them. First, we've got the Hot Wheels Lamborghini Sesto Elemento in this beautiful lime green color. Then we've got the Hot Wheels Lamborghini Gallardo Super Legera. Check that blue color out. Crazy, amazing looking. Then we've got the Hot Wheels Lamborghini Huracan Super Trofeo in white with the red. A nice color of this casting. And last but not least, we've got the Lamborghini Huracan Performante. And this one is from Tamika. Check out this matte orange color. Awesome, awesome. All right, let's get started for race number one. Race number one, here we go. On your mark, get set, go. And the 
Lamborghini Gallardo Super Legera takes the win and moves on to the finals. All right, guys, race number two cars are on the starting grid. Let's have a closer look at them. First, we've got the Hot Wheels Lamborghini Aventador Mira Homage Edition. I love this red color with those gold wheels. One of my favorite recolors of the 2018 Hot Wheels set. Beside that, we've got my favorite Lamborghini casting from Hot Wheels. It is the Lamborghini Murcielago SV from the Hot Wheels Speed Machine series. I love this car so much. And beside that, we've got one of my favorite one in 64 scale Lamborghinis, the Majorette Lamborghini Adventure SV Roadster in blue. Check this one out, so cool. Wow, what an amazing casting. And last but not least, we've got the Hot Wheels Lamborghini Reventon in pearl white. Check out that stripe down the middle with the gray wheels, a great looking casting. All right, we're all set for race number two. Cars are all lined up, let's get going. On your mark, get set, go. It's the Hot Wheels Lamborghini Reventon that takes the win and moves on to the finals. All right guys, our next set of Lamborghinis is on the starting grid. Let's have a closer look at them. First, we've got the Lamborghini Centenario from Tamika. Check this one out. Hot Wheels never made a Centenario, so we got the Tamika variation and it looks fantastic. Check out that rear diffuser with the colors on it. A nice looking gray and lime color. Then we've got the Lamborghini Reventon Roadster from Hot Wheels. This silver color just shows the lines of this car so well. I love this one so much. And right beside that, we've got the Lamborghini Aventador J. Check this one out. The concept of the Lamborghini Aventador Roadster with the little two-seater cockpit in there. And then last but not least, we've got the Hot Wheels Lamborghini Bonanno in lime green. Check out all the cuts of this one. A great looking casting. All right guys, we're set for race number three. Who's gonna move on to the final race? On your mark, get set, go. It's the Lamborghini Aventador J that takes the win and moves on to the finals. All right guys, we're on our finals and we've got three Lamborghinis that made it to the finals. Our first race winner, the Lamborghini Gallardo Superleggera. Then we've got the Lamborghini Reventon and our race three winner, the Lamborghini Aventador J. Let's find out which is the fastest Lamborghini. On your mark, get set, go. Wow guys, a fantastic tournament, but there can only be one winner, and that is the Lamborghini Gallardo Super Legera. Let me know in the comments down below which was your favorite Lamborghini from today's race. What's up, Pete Timers? We've got some Lamborghinis, and they are going head to head to see if they can defeat those spinners tournament style against each other. Let's see what happens. We got a great lineup of Lamborghinis for you guys today. They are all all colorful and looking fast. Let's first take a look at the pairings to see who's going up against each other. First pairing, we've got the Lamborghini Gallardo Superleggera versus the Lamborghini Huracan. Next pairing, we've got the Lamborghini Diablo versus the Lamborghini Murcielago LP670 SV. Next pairing, we've got the Lamborghini Aventador versus the Lamborghini Urus. And our final pairing, we've got the Lamborghini Veneno versus the Lamborghini Sesto Elemental. And we are all set for our first race, Huracan versus Gallardo. Here we go, race number one. On your mark, get set, go! Close 
close race, but the Gallardo takes the win, moving on to the next round. And next up, it's the Diablo versus the SV Murcielago. Here we go, race number two, on your mark, get set, go! And next up, it's the Aventador versus the, the Urus. Let's see who moves on to that next round. Here we go. Race number three. On your mark, get set, go. Both of them get eaten up by the spinners, but it's the Aventador that makes it farther, taking the win. And the last pairing to see who gets into that final four, let's find out. Here we go, race number four, on your mark, get set, go! The spinners are no match for these two, but it's the Sesto Elemento taking the win to move on to the final four. And we've got our final four, and they are all set to race. It's going to be a best of three. First car to win two races is our winner. Here we go. Race number one. On your mark. Get set. Go. Go. First race for the finals, but it's the Aventador that takes race number one. Can the Aventador finish it off in the second race in the finals, or will it be another car that goes to the next race? Here we go. On your mark, get set, go! The Aventador takes the win, becoming our Lamborghini Spinners champion, beating out all the other Lamborghinis. What's up, Hot Wheelers? Welcome to race day. We've got, for series number eight, race number three, we've got six Lamborghini Aventadors. I've got a bunch of different color variations, and I was actually looking online to see if I'm missing any color variations, and I'm missing a silver one that Hot Wheels made for regular series sets, and I've ordered that, so I've got a silver one coming. But in the meantime, we've got the six other ones that are current right now from Hot Wheels, and let's take a closer look at all six of these, and then we're gonna put them down our track for a best of three, and we're gonna find out which one is the fastest to move on to join the Enzo and the Mustang for our series number eight winner cars right now. All right, let's take a closer look. First one, we've got the matte white finish Aventador with those like titanium-ish type wheels. Probably my favorite color out of all the ones here. I think the white looks fantastic, especially with those wheels. Great looking car. Next up, we've got a green one with like a white stripe on it, and it's a very fitting stripe. It kind of goes from big to small for the stripe, but it looks absolutely fantastic. Great looking, same awesome wheels as well. And next up, we've got an orange one, and this is kind of a metallic orange with a black stripe, and it's got some like silver outlining 
around it as well. Looks great with the black wheels and the chrome lip. And then we've got the matte black. The <laughs> Bat Ventador, <laughs> Batmobile Aventador. Great looking in that flat black. Amazing looking Aventador. All right, next up we've got, this one is from, I believe, the Gran Turismo set. And uh, it's uh, one that I had raced recently in the set reviews. Black hood. And it's kind of like a tangerine color. Very cool. Number four on the side. Black wheels. All right. Last but not least, we've got the orange Aventador with black wheels. Very classic for the V12 Lamborghinis for these color. Great looking car. All right, guys. Those are your six. Take a look. Pick your winner right now. And we'll see if you're right at the end of this race and see which one is the fastest Lamborghini Aventador. Here we go. I'm just going to get the cameras all set. Cars all ready to roll. Be right back with race number one. All right, guys. Lamborghini Aventador's race number one. On your mark. Get set. Go. And your race winner is the orange Aventador for race number one. But we are all set for race number two, and you never know, it was really close, so anyone can take this in race number two. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go! Destructive ending, but it's the matte black bat Ventador Aventador that wins it for race number two. So it is anyone's race now. Let's see if we're gonna get a different car to win race number three to go into a three car winner takes all, or is the orange Aventador and the black Aventador, the two middle cars, going to finish it off in the final race here? Let's see. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go! There you have it guys, it's the orange Aventador that takes the win and it is now moving on up to join our series number 8 current standing champions. So sorry other Lamborghini Aventadors, you guys just weren't fast enough and once the silver Aventador comes, we'll pit it up against the orange Aventador just to find out if the silver one is actually faster than the orange one. What's up Hot Wheelers, welcome to series number six, race number six, the one final race of the six car series. So we are at the final one before we find out who is the fastest. All right, so we've got Lamborghini hypercars today. The best of the best from Lamborghini. We've got some awesome ones for you today. So let's take a closer look at all of them one by one and then we'll head to the race. First one we've got is the Lamborghini Reventon Roadster. So the special series from Lamborghini and then the Roadster version. It is exotic looking and beautiful. This one in like a matte gray color with the chrome wheels. Man, it looks awesome, I love it. 
Next up, we've got the silver Lamborghini Veneno, and this one's been down our track many times. It is a fan favorite, fantastic looking car. Just, oh, the epitome of exotic. It's got every cut and angle inside of this car. It is a gorgeous beauty, and if you see this on the street, it is a rare sight for sure. Next up, we have the Lamborghini Aventador J in this sweet blue color with those titanium-ish type wheels. This is like the first type of Roadster from Lamborghini of the Aventador series, and then they turned it into the regular Roadster. All right. Next up, we have the Lamborghini Sesto Elemento, the very exotic Lamborghini they made. Uh, these things are just raw and hardcore. They are awesome, fast, and loud sounding. Great looking car. Next up, we have the Lamborghini Murcielago LP670 4 SV. This is a Hot Wheels Speed Machines car, very rare car from Hot Wheels, a exotic looking one. It looks fantastic though, love the SV look on this one, and I hope that Lamborghini makes the Aventador SV as well. Sorry, not Lamborghini, Hot Wheels does. Awesome looking car. All right, last but not least, we've got the Lamborghini Huracan Super Trofeo. <laughs> this one, the full name of it is Lamborghini Huracan LP620-2 Super Trofeo. So Trofeo, Trofeo, however you guys wanna say it. Uh, but it is an awesome looking hardcore race car and it is definitely a Lamborghini hypercar. All right, those are your six. These six have never raced each other before, so this is a special finale for series number six, race number six. I'm just gonna get the cameras all set, cars all ready to roll, and then we'll be right back with race number one. All right, cameras are all set, cars are all ready to go. We've got Lamborghini hypercars ready for race number one. Here we go, on your mark, get set, go. And your race number one winner is the Lamborghini Aventador J. Very nice race, close one with the Lamborghini Veneno photo finish there, but it is the Aventador J. So we are moving on to race number two. Can the Aventador J finish it off or are we gonna get another winner in this race? Here we go, on your mark, get set, go. Well, that was an amazing three car photo finish between these two, the Huracan Super Trofeo, the Veneno, and the Aventador J. So it was the Aventador J that took the win though. So the Aventador J is your winner for the Lamborghini Hypercar Series. But just for fun, we I wanna see these three race again. I wanna see if it's gonna be close again. So we're gonna put just these three down the track for a final race just for fun. And sorry, these three are out. The Reventon, the Sesto Elemento, and the Lamborghini SB Murcielago. So here we go, final fun race for these three. Aventure Droid J, like I said, already winner. Here we go, on your mark, get set, go.
fantastic racing by these six Lamborghini hypercars. But in the end, there can only be one winner, and it is the Lamborghini Aventador J. What's up, Hot Wheelers? Today, we've got a really fun one for you. We've got some V12 Lamborghinis, another iteration of V12 Lamborghinis, because I know how much you guys love them, and I have a ton of them, and it's awesome to see them go down our track. So here we go for series number seven, race number six. We're gonna see who our finalist is for race number six in series number seven. All right, guys, I'm just gonna take a closer look at all these cars here. Let's see who's racing. So first one, whoa, we got a jumper. <laughs> We've got a green with a stripe Lamborghini Aventador with awesome titanium grayish type wheels on there. It looks absolutely fantastic. The Aventador is such a great looking car. Great job to Lamborghini. Next up, we've got the silver chrome Lamborghini Veneno and another Veneno. I know you guys love this car. We put it up against a few other ones and it is fantastic. Next up, we have a Lamborghini Diablo. And this one I've had in my collection for quite some time. You can see all the marks and scratches on there. I played with this even when I was a young kid. But this one I know is gonna be fun to see go down the track. It is a great looking car. Next up, we've got a Lamborghini Aventador again, but this is the matte black finish one. This is quite a rare one. Um, but it is just fantastic. Look at this matte finish paint job on it. Just looks so great. I absolutely love it. All right, next up we've got a white Lamborghini Murcielago, and this one has the blacked out wheels with the chrome lip on there. Great looking car. All right, last but not least, we've got the Lamborghini Countach 25th anniversary edition. Blue with the gold wheels. Oh man, this is such a great looking car. Look at that beauty. Man, this is quite the lineup. I am so excited to see these ones go down the track and see who our winner is. So take your pick right now. Let me know in the comments below which one you guys is gonna, you guys think is going to win and we'll get right to the race. I'll be right back. Just gonna get the cameras all set. Cars are ready to roll. Be right back with race number one. All right, cameras all set, cars all ready to roll. Here we go, race number one. On your mark, get set, go. And our race number one winner is the Lamborghini Aventador and the matte black finish. Great looking car, fantastic race, and it just edged out the other ones there. Photo finish for it. But we are all set for race number two, and we're gonna see if the matte black Aventador can finish it off, or is it gonna be another winner, so we go to a third race. Here we go, on your mark, get set, go. And there you have it, the Lamborghini Aventador is your winner for series number seven, race number six. So the black Aventador, the matte finish one, is moving on up to join all the winners of series number seven. And they are right there. Look at that lineup, man. Series number seven finale, which is next week, the day after Christmas, is going to be a fantastic race to see. So let's see who's racing. We've got the flamed out van, the gold F40, the McLaren F1 GTR, 
Porsche 911 GT3 RS, and we've got the tuned out Dodge Daytona 500 and the just join the matte black finish Lamborghini Aventador. Man, gonna be a fantastic race next week. So thanks a lot for watching this race. If you guys appreciate this race, throw this video a like, and I will see you guys next week on the finale for series number seven. But don't forget, I post videos daily, so we got lots of videos for you guys to see. In the meantime, great videos coming up this week. Thanks a lot for watking, guys. I will see you on the next one. Thanks, big timers, for watching this video. Make sure you follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And don't forget to subscribe and throw this video a like. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.